Good morning Year 3. Welcome to Friday's Maths Lesson on the 12th of February 2021. Today is the last Maths Lesson that we will have for a whole week. So let's put all our energy into this lesson and then we get a well-deserved break for one week. So write today's date and learning objective please, which is to understand scaling. This is different to what we've done before, but we are still using the same skills and techniques that we have been learning over the past couple of weeks. Press play when you're ready to continue. So for the warm up today, let's have a look at these multiplica multiplication and division questions. So pause the video and answer each question and then press play when you're ready to answer them. Right everybody, well done. Get your blue pen or get ready to correct any errors with your pencil and then tick your answer. So how many apples are there all together? So let's count how many apples are in each bag. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five apples in each bag and there are one, two, three, four, five, six apples. So we want to know five lots of six bags. How much does that equal? Six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Well done. Have you got that correct? Complete these calculations. Three times 10 equals 30. Three times 20. So if we know what three times two is, which is six, we know that 20 is 10 times more than two. So we need to make six 10 times more. And that would make 60. 30 divided by 3, oh, so we know that 3 divided by 10 equals 30. 30 divided by 3 equals 10. And then 60 divided by 3, we can use this uh, sum here to help us, it equals 20. Double each of the numbers below. So double 15. When we double, it means that we are times in by 2. And as you can see here, we have got 15 there and 15 here. So we have already doubled 15, which equals 30. Double 25. So we double the 5, it makes 10. Double 20, it makes 40. 40 add 10 equals 50. Do it with 35, double the 5 equals 10, double the 30, it equals 60, 60 add 10 equals 70. And finally, 45, double the 5 equals 10, double the 40 equals 80, add them together, it equals 90. Remember when we double, we just times it by 2, and when we half, we divide it by 2. So let's have a quick recap. So we've looked at this one quite a lot now, but let's see if we can do it really quickly. So we start off with 48 and we are dividing by four. So pause the video and work out the rest of this part, part, whole model to help us with division. So we need to partition it first. So we can partition it as 40 and eight. So 40 divided by 4 equals 10. And 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Add those both together, it equals 12. So 48 divided by 4 equals 12. So let's have a look at this one now. We're going to be focusing on remaining, okay? So we want you to, I'm going to underline what we want you to do. So group the squares into fours, and this one group it into fives, and this one group it into eighths. Pause the video to give yourself some time. Well done, let us check. So we want to group it into groups of four. 
So there's a group of four, there's a group of four, and we have one, two left over. So we have two groups of four with two remaining. So it'll be two remaining two. The next one groups of five. So there's a group of five, there's a group of five, and there is a group of four. So we have one, two groups of five with four remaining. So it would be two remainder four. Well done. And the last one, group it into eights. Oops, we have eight there and we have a group of two left over. So we have one group of eight and two left over. So it'll be one remainder two. Fantastic. Now let's move on to scaling. So let's look at this question first together and see if we can work out what scaling means. So the children are making snowballs. So this boy, he has one, two, three snowballs. And this girl here says, I have twice as many snowballs as you. So how many snowballs does Ava have? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Ava has six balls. And she says, I have twice as many snowballs as you. So when we have something that's twice as many, it means that we have that number and we double it. So is three times two, does that equal six? Let's have a look here. It does equal six. As you can see here, we have uh, the amount that Amir has, which is three, and the amount that Ava has, which is six. And she has three, add another three, which is twice as many as three. Let's have a look at this question. Eva has 10 snowballs this time. Whitney says that she has three times as many snowballs as Eva. So we need to work out how many snowballs Whitney has and as you can see we can't really count them because they're all muddled up So let's use our math skills to try and work this out So what is three times more than ten? We can write that down as three times ten What does that equal? Let's move on to the next slide because it's another way of working this out we can use scaling as bar models. So this bar model shows us how many Eva has. She has 10. And Whitney has three times more. So there's one, there's two, and there's three times more. How much, how many snowballs does Whitney have? We can work it out as 10, 20, 30. So Whitney has 30 snowballs. What else does this bar model show? <clears throat> this bar model shows us that there are a total of snowballs. So the total of snowballs is everything together. So we have 10 add 30. So we can say that there are 40 snowballs altogether. And we can also say that 30 take away 10 is 20. So Whitney has 20 more snowballs than Ava. We also can say, we can use it for scaling, and we can show that Whitney has one, two, three times more snowballs than Ava does. Let's move on to the next question. So this is a really tricky question and it is a word problem as well. So here is a bar model representing how children in class three travel to school. 
Use the bar model to help us complete the sentence. So, mm, as many children travel by car as by bus. So let's at how many children travel by car. So here is car and here is bus. So how much more does the children travel by car than bus? We can say that twice as many children, because it is two times more than bus. So twice as many children travel by car as by bus. Let's look at the next one. Mm, as many children walk as travel by bus. So here we have walking, so quite a lot of children walk. And here we have a bus. So how many more um, times do children walk than travel on bus? So we can say one, two, three, four, five. Five times as many children walk as by bus because there are five more there. Well done. Here is another one how we can use it to work out the height of something. So here are two toys. The giraffe is three times taller than the elephant. How tall is the elephant? Pause the video and have a little go to see if you can work this out all by yourself. Press play when you're ready. Right, I know that that was super tricky, but well done for just giving it a really good try. Let's see if you worked it out correctly. So we know that the giraffe, using our bar model, is 60 centimetres. And we want to split that into three amounts. So 60 divided by 3 equals 20. Well done. So it will be 20 in each box. So 20, 40, 60. So that is three times more. So now we've worked out which each part equals. And this also tells us how tall the elephant is. So how tall is the elephant using what we've just worked out? Well done, the elephant is 20 centimetres. Remember to write on your centimetres because otherwise you might lose a point when you're doing some maths tests. So as you can see, 20 times 3 equals 60. Or 60 divided by 3 equals 20. On your worksheet, you're going to be showing us uh, your scaling and see how much you've understood. So we've got lots of pictures that will help us to work out the scaling. And also you can write down the number facts to go with the bar model that shows. So show your working out really neatly in your book. Make sure that you write out the questions as well. Like there are so many apples. I want you to write that down in your book as well. Thank you for joining this week and I hope you have a well-deserved break next week. Remember, don't do any learning from your learning pack next week as that is for the 22nd. You've just got your fun activities um, for your homework next week and I hope you have fun. Thank you. Bye bye.